So guys, hi, this is Ganesh Naik. I help finance professionals and students to excel in their career or become a better version of themselves. And I also help students appearing for FRM and CFA exam to excel and do better. Now in this video, I'm going to be talking about the deferral part for the FRM exam. There's been a change in the way you can defer for the 2023 exam. The first major change has been the fees, which was earlier around $200, now has been done to $250. Second major change that has been brought in is that previously if you defer then the exam would go to the next available exam slot but now the students have been given an option that they can defer it once to the next available two slots okay now if you are a student and you want to defer the exam okay then you have to do do the same before the end of the registration window now what does that mean say for example if you have already registered for May 2023 exam then the end of March is where the standard registration closes. So that before that, you'll have to defer your exam. Similarly, if you have gone for August exam, yes, now all, we also have an August exam for FRM. Okay, so August exam, then end of July is where you can defer the exam. Before end of July, you have to defer the exam if you have already registered for August. If you have registered for the November exam, then primarily you can defer till 30th of September. Okay, so quick summary, the two major changes, the amount has been changed and the way the deferral can happen. Previously, it was available to defer only to the next available exam. Now, the student will have an option to choose from any of the next two available slot. I hope this video helps you and gives you clarity about how the exam is going to be conducted. And uh, if you like this video, like the content, do subscribe to my channel. Do share this video with your friends and happy learning. Thank you.